Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 9 of Dr. Elisa. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Hopefully nothing happens to her. <laughs> um, do not go outside. What happened? You okay? I mean, I thought he got killed for a moment because the way that sounded, it literally sounded like a slash cutting in a... I ain't gonna describe it for you, but... <laughs> I, well, you know what? Because we're watching a doctor show, it sounded like a knife or something cutting into flesh. And so I'm like, oh, okay. He's dead. Don't go out there. We're having a scary movie moment up in the show. <laughs> Right. No, I mean, the question is, how are you going to get him up? Uh oh. No, Lauren, like. 
it's really bad outside. I'm so sweet. They so cute. No, it's sweet though. I know that film though. Mm -hmm. Of course, I think if any other girl had a thing for him, like psh, everybody's heart broke that day. me like literally returning this into a Yuri and it's so cute I love it You just feel comfortable around her and you care about her. That too. Mm. 
You just focus on getting better. Well, yeah, she was fine. Yeah, that would have caused like a World War Three. Yeah, she's too sick to leave. Why are you going to be upset about that? But she's different, though. She's not the same girl that she used to be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, she does know some, so, I mean, give her some props. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs>
Not the pepper. Oh my god. But yeah, it, it's different. You're a completely different person. And see, because these two are officially getting along, this could be a good thing for their families to finally merge together and to, you know, let the facade down and be nice. Makes sense. She eats like a little cute little squirrel. Oh my god. <laughs>
He's so freaking cute. Once again, I cannot, like, oh. Uh... Yeah, but everything's fine. <laughs> yes, oh my god. Like, seriously, back off her. She's okay. Cookies? Yeah. <laughs> I will be still like, I don't know. <laughs> this was a really adorable episode. But no, the fact what's her face is what's his face's brother was sitting here still talking about okay when he was a kid mom died and we still upset about mom dying and then he's talking about you know the situation of the fact is that yes he dies his uncle dies and his father dies what the absolute f but we know like we're still trying to steer clear of that and such. We only have a few more weeks left with this show. I don't know how this is going to end, truly, because, oh, my God. Um, but I will say the relationship of Elise and Julian, like, that's really sweet because it's like the, the looks can be deceiving and stuff because, yes, they were both, you know, bitchy to each other, one more than the other in a previous life, but... The fact is that, you know, Elise is completely different than what she used to be and that she really, truly wants to get along with people. Because remember, at first, Julia didn't really want to have anything to do with her. And now, look, like, they literally got a friendship that just blossomed into something very beautiful. And, and she took care of her. It was so sweet. Like, stop. The friendship is real. And it's just, you hope that their families can also put aside their differences and to form a lasting friendship or relationship with them and such. It would be nice because, I mean, think about it with, like, any other show that has had something very similar to this and, and such. And so sometimes it ends in the good or sometimes it ends in the bug. Or with our own sometimes, you know. <laughs> um, but, no, this could literally be the start of a lifelong, like, partnership between these two families to put their differences aside and to actually have a moment. Yeah, like, it, it does make you kind of wonder, like, in the past, why these two families don't like each other and such, because we're, you, you get, you're giving me something, but you're still not giving me, like, a little bit more context to just that information and that backstory between the two of them. I don't think we have enough time to go into it because we are so close to the end of this show. Um, but if it, like, let's say the show had a potential season two and let's say we did get a backstory, then yes, I would be all here for it. But as of now, with the remainder weeks that we have left, nah. I, I just love the fact that these two are finally friends and that they're able to talk and stuff. I love the fact that Julianne also, like, literally in a way because of Evie says she started studying medicine and that she knew certain terms and stuff. I mean, that's really sweet. It just tells you how, you know, so very quickly people can inspire you to do whatever you want. But she's doing it rather, not for Elise, more or less on her own terms and such. But she still has, like, other things on the back of her mind, which is really good. You just, you like that. Mm -hmm. Do some ish like that. But yeah, this was a really sweet episode. Thank God, you know, that um, her, um the carriage and really the person who was handling the horses he only 
God, I broke her leg. Thank God it was just that and not anything else. Because, like I said, the way that handled, that sound was, it literally th- it sounded like something cutting into flesh. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, horror movie montage. Here we go. But no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for this episode 9 of Dr. Elise. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day into the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.